Okay, I'm back. I thought I'd put all the vintage collection vehicles together I have for you into one lineup. I've shown you all these vehicles before, and I've reviewed most of them, but uh, I just thought I'd put them together for you. So far, every vehicle for the vintage collection that's been in the vintage style box has been an exclusive. The TIE Fighter and Snowspeeder here were both exclusives at Target right before the Christmas of 2010. I got two of the TIE Fighters. The Snowspeeder, the one I have out here, is from the Dark Skies collection. It's, it's the same vehicle, just different packaging. Um, you could get the Dark Skies Snowspeeder at any store, but the vintage style packaging was only at Target. This is the same picture as they had on the old box, but since the Snowspeeder is bigger, they had to scale it up slightly. The TIE Fighter is the same size. It has a lot of new features from the old one, but it's the same size. The Y-Wing, I've got the 30th anniversary Y-Wing out here for display. It's the same mold, but I've got the Vintage Collection packaging. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. And the B-Wing, of course, this is my Expanded Universe B-Wing from Dagger Squadron. I've got Lieutenant Pollard out here. You can get this right now at Kmart. Also, I would like to note, if you want this thing but you don't live near a Kmart, I noticed just last week uh, you can order this off their website now. You, when I reported before, it was not available on the website. I think it came up just last Monday on their website. So it's around $40, so you might want to check that out if you want this. I've got the appropriate pilots lined up, although none of the Vintage Collection vehicles come with a pilot. Uh, to be fair, Kenner didn't either, but uh, it kind of gives Hasbro an excuse to be cheap with us. I've got the OTC TIE Fighter Pilot here. I've got Luke with a Snowspeeder. For the life of me, I could not find Dak or my Snowspeeder Luke, so I've just got X-Wing Luke out here. And, of course, Lieutenant Lapira with the Y-Wing and Lieutenant Pollard with the B-Wing. Okay, I've also got, for comparison, I've got the 30th anniversary TIE Fighter, or excuse me, TIE Bomber, but I've got the current Dark Skies packaging for the TIE Bomber, just to compare the, uh, the packaging. This is available right now as well, this, this style packaging. The TIE Fighter just became available at uh, Entertainment Earth. It was a Walmart exclusive, but I noticed a week or so ago you could order this off their site. But I just wanted to compare the other style, the other line of packaging out here right now as well, with the Vintage Collection. Put this side by side. A couple vehicles of note. Um, they have it as well. They have the land speed around from the older Saga line. They've put it in a vintage style packaging. It's much larger than the Power of the Force 2 one I have. And I don't believe that's hit the United States yet. I think it might be either a Toys R Us or a Walmart exclusive. I'm not sure. Another vehicle, um, the at Walker. That is an exclusive at Toys R Us in the Venice style packaging, much larger than the older box. And they've talked about making the cloud car. The cloud car, I really love the cloud car, but I don't think it had the popularity to, to do again. They were going to put that in a Venice style box as well, excuse me. And um, another vehicle of note was the Millennium Falcon. There was talk about putting the Legacy Collection for Millennium Falcon in a Venice style box, but, but that never came about, so... But anyway, I just wanted to show these to you, and I hope you enjoyed looking at them. Get back here again. Excuse me, moving around a bit. Okay, this is Supreme signing out, and as always, thank you for tuning in.